Hey folks, today we're going to talk about how to build your own cloud. Let's say you want to compete with AWS or Google Cloud or Azure, or you might have a group of customers looking for a niche AI solution or technology in general. Let's get started. First off, define your cloud service. Decide on the type of cloud service you want to offer. Determine the core purpose and target audience of your cloud service. Define the primary features you want to offer, such as file storage or virtual machines, databases, etc. Conduct market research to understand the demand and competition in the chosen domain. For instance, you could create a file storage service like Dropbox, a computing platform like AWS EC2 or AWS Elastic Compute Cloud, or a platform as a service pass like Heroku. Infrastructure setup. Choose between on-premises hardware or cloud service providers. Cloud providers offer flexible and scalable infrastructure, making them a popular choice. Choose a cloud provider, example, AWS, Azure, or GCP, or set up your own data centers. Cloud providers offer a wide range of services and scalability options, obviously. Deploy servers with adequate computing power and storage capacity to handle your service's expected workload. You can use services like AWS EC2, Microsoft Azure Virtual Machines, or GCP Compute Engine to set up virtual servers. Virtualization and containerization. Virtual machines allow running multiple operating systems on a single physical server, while containers provide lightweight and portable application environments. Use virtualization techniques, technologies like VMware or kernel-based virtual machines or KVMs to create virtual machines that run multiple applications independently. Containerization tools like Docker enable you to package applications with their dependencies, making deployment and management easier. Tools like VMware or KVM handle virtualization and Docker or Kubernetes handle containerization. Data storage. Depending on your service, select an appropriate data storage solution. For file storage, you can use object storage like AWS S3 or GCP Cloud Storage. For databases, you can use SQL databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL, or NoSQL databases like MongoDB or Cassandra. Select appropriate databases based on your service requirements. For structured data, you can use relational databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL. For unstructured data, NoSQL databases like MongoDB or Cassandra are popular choices. Consider implementing data replication and backups to ensure data redundancy and availability. Authentication and security. Implement secure authentication mechanisms like OAuth2 to allow users to log in and manage their resources securely. Use SSL TLS for data encryption and consider implementing multi-factor authentication or MFA for added security. Implement secure authentication mechanisms such as OAuth2 or OpenID Connect to handle user access and permissions securely. Use HTTPS for secure communication and encrypt sensitive data stored in the database. Employ firewall configurations and network security to pro protect against unauthorized access. API Gateway An API Gateway acts as an intermediary between clients and your microservices or backend services. It can handle tasks like load balancing, API versioning, rate limiting, and request response transformations. It acts as the entry point for client requests, providing features like request routing, load balancing, and caching. You can use tools like Nginx or Kong to create an API gateway. Load balancing. Load balancers distribute incoming traffic across multiple servers to ensure high availability and prevent overloading. Utilize load balancing algorithms such as round robin, weighted round robin, or least connections. Depending on your setup, 
you can use hardware load balancers or software load balancers like HA proxy, Nginx, or cloud provided load balancers such as AWS Elastic Load Balancing or ELBs. Monitoring and logging. Monitoring tools like Prometheus or Grafana allow you to collect and analyze metrics for your infrastructure and services. Centralized logging tools like ELK, which is a combination of Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, help you manage and analyze logs effectively to track the performance and health of your infrastructure and services. They help you analyze logs for troubleshooting and debugging. Scaling. Design your architecture to scale horizontally and vertically based on demand. Scale horizontally by adding more servers or containers to handle increased traffic, while vertical scaling involves increasing the resources, example CPU, RAM, of existing servers. Technologies like Kubernetes or AWS Auto Scaling can automate the process of adding or removing resources as needed. Backup and Disaster Recovery Regularly backup your data and set up disaster recovery mechanisms to ensure data integrity and availability in case of failures. Store backups in secure locations, preferably in different geographical regions. Use tools like AWS Backup or Cloud Provider specific backup services for your customers. Billing and Usage Tracking if your cloud service is usage-based, you'll need a billing system to track resource consumptions and charge users or your customers accordingly. Integrate with payment gateways to handle secure transactions. You can build a billing system using programming languages like Python, Ruby, or Java and store usage data in databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL. User Interface Create a user-friendly web portal or API to allow users to interact with your cloud service easily. You can use modern front-end frameworks like React, Angular, Vue.js for an enhanced user experience. API documentation. Generate clear and comprehensive API documentation using tools like Swagger or OpenAPI to help users understand how to interact with your service effectively. Testing. Implement unit tests, integration tests, and end-to-end -end tests to ensure the reliability and functionality of your cloud service. Implement automated testing using frameworks like Jest, Selenium, or JUnit to ensure the reliability and stability of your cloud service. Compliance and legal considerations. Be aware of data protection regulations and ensure your service complies with relevant laws, such as GDPR or CCPA, to protect user data and privacy. And for health, HIPAA is the other one. Remember, building a cloud service is an extensive and complex process that requires significant expertise in various domains like software development, networking, security, and operations. It's crucial to plan and research thoroughly before embarking on such a project and consider seeking guidance from experienced professionals when needed. You might need to assemble a skilled team or collaborate with experts in, sp in specific areas to build and manage your cloud service successfully. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.